Hello there guys, welcome back to another Epic and Extra Rule Maths video. In this video, I have a cool little question and we're gonna simplify arc sine x plus arc cos x. Is there a way to simplify this um, expression? Well, actually, yes, there is. And there's lots of ways to do it. You could just do it by trial and error. So for instance, if you try random numbers, you'll find that it's always equal to the same thing. So arc sine, for example, arc sine, of let's say zero plus arc cos of zero, what would that be? Well, arc sine of zero is zero, and arc cos of zero would be pi over two. So when you plug in zero, you get pi over two. Okay, who cares? Well, if we try a different number like one, arc sine of one plus arc cos of one, what does that give us? Well, arc sine of one is pi over two, and arc cos of one is zero. Okay, we've got pi over two again. All right, let's try one more number. What about arc sine of, let's say, a half, plus arc cos of a half? Okay, well, what value of sine gives you one half? Well, 30 degrees, which is pi over 6, okay? And what value of cos gives you a half? Well, 60 degrees, which is pi over 3. But guys, this is just a half again, okay? Because this is pi over 6 plus, uh, times in top and bottom by 2, 2 pi over 6, which is 3 pi over 6, which is pi over two. Oh dear. Well, not oh dear, but it's like, okay. Every single value that we've plugged in has just given us pi over two. Cool, so you might be able to say, well, I think that it's gonna simplify to pi over two, which would be pretty sensible, but how do you prove it? How do you prove it? Well, guys, something very, very magical, okay? And I'm not saying, by the way, that this is the easiest way of doing it. I'm not saying this is how you should do it. I just wanna show you something really cool involving differentiation, okay? So if I just maybe come up with a function f of x, and I'm just gonna call f of x arc sine of x plus arc cos of x, okay? So I'm just gonna call this f of x. Now the, the cool thing is, if we differentiate this, so the derivative of f of x is what? Well, okay, to be fair, it's not exactly common knowledge what arc sine and arc cos differentiate to, but I'll just tell you, arc sine differentiates to one over the square root of one minus x squared. Okay, link in description, I've got a video on that. And arc cos, okay, I don't have a video on this, but take my word for it, arc cos actually differentiates to minus one over the square root of one minus x squared. Yeah. It's true. So this simplifies to zero because it's just the same thing minus the same thing. So the derivative of a function is zero. That means that f of x, which was arc sine x plus arc cos x, must be a constant by integrating both sides, right? If we were to like do a cheeky little integral, dx equals the integral of zero, dx, we get that the original function is equal to a constant. Well, that means that we can plug in just any number and see what C is, right? How would you find, you know, if you're doing a differentiation or integration question and you, you, you integrate both sides and you try and find C, well, what would you do? You just plug a, a number in, right? And again, we already know, for example, that F of zero was pi over two. So C is pi over two, which means that arc sine x, I'm gonna write it down, arc sine x, plus arc cos x is equal to pi over two for all values that you can plug into this. And I'll just specify, it's a good idea, that arc sine and arc cos x are only valid for values of x between minus one and one. So this only works for values between minus one and one, at least in the real numbers. So this is when x is between and including minus one and one. 
Again, I'm not saying this is necessarily like the way of doing it, but come on guys, don't you think that's pretty cool? Using the fact that one function differentiates to something and then the same, or uh, the other function differentiates to the same thing, but negative, that means the derivative is zero, so the original function is constant. Come on, come on, do you, do you get much better than that? I don't think so. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I highly appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.